Oh. Things is things are so tricky. So this is Sipo. Uh, this is where we this is where we get uh, important things like uh, notes and honey rock propaganda. So yeah, now we're gonna head to Sam's. Uh, basically, Wheaton's equivalent of Starbucks, except uh, more expensive, cheaper quality product. Yeah, so I'm just, I'm really passionate about like uh, rule following, safety, justice, all, all those things. So I, I just want to be used in the way that allows me to be most helpful to public safety and the greater good of the campus. So uh, I'm going to go sign up for public safety. Yeah, so I, uh... Didn't get the job. Um, that's a, it's okay. I, I'm fine with it. You know, like I wasn't, I wasn't looking for that much of a commitment. I'm pretty busy. I, you know, they've got their priorities. I got mine. It was, it was mutual. Yeah, it's, uh, it's fine. It's not, it's not something I'm upset about. I'm not gonna get all riled up about it. You know, just move on with my life, and we'll just kind of go from there. I've got loftier aspirations. Backpacks in the store. They said I broke my collarbone. I told them I fell during swing dancing. They totally bought it. I was the one at fault back there. The sign obviously said no backpacks, and the windbreaker was just doing his job. I needed to be held accountable. Some people question his methods, but he's really just reinforcing justice around the community. Besides, broken bones heal quicker than broken rules. My name is Jabe Gonder. I'm a Bith and Ceramics double major. And being the Windbreaker's roommate is interesting and tough sometimes because I have to keep his identity. And honestly, it's just a lot of work. You don't realize how much effort goes into keeping the man's identity in. But hey, I mean, I'm a part of the cause, so that's cool, right? I do a lot for this man, and I feel like nothing's reciprocated. <laughs> Oh, 
I littered, but I feel bad for whoever's got to be that guy's roommate. It's got to be terrible. Sometimes I question whether it's all worth it. Who do I think the windbreaker is? Gotta be Ben Hunter. Ray Chang, no doubt in my mind. Hmm. Elijah. Sea Trade. Kawhi Leonard from the Spurs. Why do I have to answer that question? That's so bad. <laughs> Lopez. Dr. McNutt. Probably uh, Pete Hansen. I'd choose Rosa. I'd say probably Abby Conway. I'm biased, so. Yuri. Bunny Haas. <laughs> he can shapeshift, uh, he can phase through walls, he can fly, super strength. He's basically just all of the good superheroes put into one, so kind of the best. He is really kind, but the big thing that stands out is he's super humble. So he's like a hard worker, he has a lot of leadership, but he just, super humble guy, always has a smile on his face, and it's really encouraging. I like his humor, and... <laughs> yeah, pretty much just his humor. <laughs> um, I like him because he's sneaky, and you don't actually know who he is, but, and he tries to hide his identity, but then he can, he's really powerful, and he can, he can attack you, surprise attack, bam. He's very good at what he does. Um, you can tell that he uh, takes it seriously. He puts up with a lot of other people's antics, and uh, um, he's a family man, so uh, he really cares about his family, but also cares about his work. He strikes a really good balance there, which I admire a lot. Um. He's the greatest basketball player to ever live. He's strong, he carries the team. Um, just overall great guy. Um, he has the power of flight, and he can heal leopards. He's very uh, welcoming and inclusive and generous and asks good questions. Let's talk about the Windbreaker super vehicle. Batman, he has his Batmobile. Captain America, he has his motorcycle. How does the windbreaker get around? Oh, dude, for sure. Uh, it's called the gasser. It's honestly the coolest thing I've ever seen. So, Mr. The Windbreaker, what is your inspiration behind your special moniker? Well, I wanted something elemental, you know, something, something terrifying. And wind is one of the strongest forces in nature. And I thought, if mm -hmm. someone could control the wind, mm -hmm. no, break the wind, like, that would be just a, just a powerful individual. Oh, of course. And what about the gasser? How did you land on that name? Well, everything I do, I do it 110%. And so the gasser is just... Mm -hmm. It's what I do. It's who I am. I, I gas it. Mr. The Windbreaker, mm -hmm. do you realize that all your names are synonyms for farting? Uh, what's a synonym? <laughs> it's 
So then, so then I said, what do you think I am? A typewriter? <laughs> So anyway, I, I was talking with Raul last night, and I have, I have a lot of sway, you know, with the big guy, because, you know, I speak on behalf of the student body. Um, and so, guess what we're going to have? Breakfast for dinner, two nights a week. That's not a good idea. I, I would rather eat baked whitefish. Are, are you guys serious? Like, you get, like, you get, like, the English muffins, you get, like, the scrambled eggs. Like, you can make yourself a little sandwich, like... Like the, the waffle makers, like you get grapefruit, like what? But that's what the student body wants. Yeah, after the incident, the windbreaker just lost all credibility. Uh, it's been rioting in the streets. People are calling for him to hang up the jacket and the mask. <laughs> How can someone even defend us that they can't represent us? Jack Stradinger even said he would go on a hunger strike until the windbreaker called it quits. Unfortunately, he was seen at Los the next day. So I can put a notice for the windbreaker to meet him. He's probably about that whole breakfast for dinner thing. I have a bad feeling about this one, but honestly, he had it coming. I've been expecting you. Please, have a seat. Do you have any idea why I've called you in here? I uh, honestly know. I just I thought maybe I'd be like recognized for my work or, or something. Yeah, recognized all right. Uh, I mean, you seem to think that you represent the entire student body, that everybody's on your side. Yeah. But uh, this whole breakfast for dinner twice a week, nobody wants that. And uh, as a result, I, I think your time at the college has come to an end. What? Like, it was a simple mishap. Like, breakfast for dinner, you got the waffle machines, you got the grapefruit. Like, who doesn't yeah. love that? Breakfast for breakfast, dinner for dinner, Mr. The Windbreaker. Uh, I'm sorry, it's totally egregious and I'm completely serious. You need to leave campus immediately. Godspeed. You know, somebody has to make the tough decisions around here. And I, I realize how popular he was, but I'm also concerned about the students and their nutrition and their dietary interests. And in the end, he had to go. What if I told you he wasn't the greatest? That a school would fail to protect its greatest natural resource? That sometimes it is a matter of life and death? That no one can outrun the truth? What if I told you there was only one true victim? That you could heal all wounds with a fight song? That the man that couldn't be stopped tragically was. What if I told you protecting an entire college is easy? That some heroes are needed but not deserved. That sometimes the truth isn't good enough. That sometimes people deserve more. Though he is no longer with us, the spirit of what he stood for lives on in the hearts of each person he protected. 
though most will never know the identity that lay beneath the mask, all will remember him for who he really was. The Windbreaker. <laughs> <laughs>